our draw the line template. Um, this one works very similarly to how you would update your um, data, upload your data within the uh, line bar pie template. Um, it gives the option to add different messages when the user has guessed, and it really engages your audiences to dive into the data themselves. And so I'm just going to open this link. For our example, so this is one that um, the one that we worked on with a um, company, and so this is um, one million cases. So we kind of wanted a user to draw the line for how many cases they believe. Um, corona, I'm guessing it's coronavirus cases. Yep, how much it grows, and so what we can do here is we can make we can allow people to draw the line on where they think the coronavirus cases went. So I'm going to draw it up to there. Then I'm going to click down on um, check results. And there we go. Once we've checked the results, um, it then pops up with this here, with our little um, kind of answer and uh, result. So I'm just going to quickly show you how the data works. So we have our time data here. So very similar to how the line bar pie templates work. We um, include it just like we would in those. Um, but obviously you can have actually multiple lines um, if you have multiple lines that you want people to guess. In this case, we only have the one. Um, so that's actually makes it a lot easier for us. But just so you know, you can include more than one. Um, so for example, if you wanted one to be always visible. So if I just um, quickly duplicate this, so if I just insert a column to the right and then copy and paste that there. And now I want this line to be always visible. Um, obviously, it kind of gives away the answer, but that's fine. Um, but you know what I mean? In any sort of certain case, this is kind of could be a baseline of something or a projection of where um, you want the data to be in the end. I'm just going to get rid of that again. Um, with the value that you want people to guess, you will include that here um, or in column A, whichever one, just bind it to the relevant one. And on the x-axis, you will want to find that one in the time x-axis. So in our case, it's the date. Um, okay, and so with the lines in our settings panel, so we have these guessable lines and so from the data tab, it is pulling in what data, what line we want people to guess. Uh, with a percentage to reveal, we can have this as 30 and it wouldn't give people so much of um, a line that they already have. So if you want to make it a bit more difficult, you can really kind of put them to the test and make it shorter, or you can make it longer. And I'm going to put it back to 60. You can change the width of the line, so you can make it thicker, you can make it a bit smaller. And um, the dot radius, once again, you can make those a bit larger. Um, and the drawing dash, oh, so that's here, sorry. Um, so that's here. So the dot radius, when we're drawing, it would um, change here. And um, with the drawing dash size, so that would be, as you can see, they're changing as I up them. I'm going to take it right back down. And Similar to the settings within our line bar pie template with the line charts, they have different um, line types, so you can have it curved, straight, or stepped. Um, the text and results, so this is where the um, settings come in for here. So when I press check results, um, it adds this area, and um, just to show where you were and where the actual um, line goes, and so. We um, add our draw the line text. So what if I just quickly refresh it? This is being pulled in from our messages text. Um, and the submit text, submit text, sorry, is being pulled here. Um, and then we, when we have created the line, I'm just gonna quickly turn that back to a curve. There's, that looks much better. So I'm just gonna quickly make that curve line. Um, so the check results box is being pulled in from the submit text. And then if we have a percentage error of 5%, um, and it says, unfortunately, you're right. So you can add in um, how far um, you want to kind of give the people, give your users um, kind of the ability to be wrong. Um, so a good result here, we've put a 10%. Um, and then we give them a little option of, you're not too far off, um, an okay result. And then the poor result, if they've just done absolutely awful and there's no kind of sugar coating it, you will put in the text there of it and um, it will pop up there. Um, the colours, so very similar to all of our templates and especially the line bar pie, it will just have the palette so it's already pulled in yours. 
Um, and this one is just essentially very similar to the line bar pie. So you can change the way that your um, X axis appears and your um, Y axis appears. You can change that all here. And the chart background and um, the, the number and date formatting. So for example, we've just wanted to change our um, format in the data sheet. So we just put in what format it was and we want it to display as that. Um, the layout, the header, footer, everything like that. But this is the draw the line template and it's really, really um, fun to kind of get your um, audience really engaged. 